Hi and welcome, my name is Caroline and I have the blog Scandi Mama and I would like to show you some of these things I made with some old style batik colouring from the shop Rito. And uh, I've got lots of different projects as you can see and I'm going to show you a little bit about how they are made. And I chose to have this blue colour because I think it's very very pretty and it reminds me of the indigo dyeing which is a little bit more complicated so this is the easy way to do it. And uh, quite soon we're ready to get started. This is just the last bit of preview on all the different things. And uh, we're ready to get started. So first of all what I did, I got a lot of white stuff ready and basically tied it all up at once. And uh, yeah, then got ready to put them all into the die. And this is an apron that I'm folding up. And I'm just doing some like square folds, not being too careful what I'm doing. And putting on some metal clamps. And then that turns out like this where you can see the different stripes that the the lines on the clamps makes. This is a tiny little bag that I'm putting on these uh, round wooden things and uh, put them in the water and the wooden things uh, keep it white. This is a t-shirt that I'm folding up diagonally and I'm also using these wooden coasters uh, with some clamps on on this and you can see like that they are these round circles and that they actually are diagonally shaped. This is just a super scrunched up t-shirt with lots of uh, elastic tape and lots of uh, yarn on and uh, exciting to see. You can see like not much dye actually gets into this. It's pretty like it's still pretty white so only a bit of blue gets into it. This is a t-shirt with a different technique uh, doing lots of harmonica folds and then just uh, putting some elastics in to keep it in place and then lots of string just lots of really really tight folding and securing it along the way so it's this tight little sausage with so much string on and I think this is my favorite one I think it's so cool with all these stripes and actually you can see quite a bit of the little ones another bag and with lots of tiny little um, round uh, wooden coasters on on both the front and the back and then clamps on and it turns out like this where the the top wooden coasters are quite clear and the others not so much. Now it's time to do the actual dye so you have to add salt um, to proper amount as it says on the box and then there is this special fixing salt that you also add and uh, yes maybe I should have worn gloves because you're not really supposed to do it like that. And then in with the dye and I'm doing two different types of blue colors I think they're both very pretty. It's good to have the water quite warm um, the warmer it gets, the brighter the color, and if the when the water gets cold, it it just it turns more um, yeah more pastel, more light. And just dipping the stuff in, you have to leave them there for at least half an hour. That's a that's a good thing anyway. Sometimes you can leave it longer as well. I'm just adding a few extra things here that I just had lying around, putting them into a bucket with some uh, with a plastic bag in, just to make sure that I don't get dye everywhere. And then you can leave it to rest a little bit longer in there. And then soon comes the fun bit, which is actually opening everything seeing what it looks like, untying all that string, so much string to untie and uh, I just I just love unfolding the things and seeing what they what they end up being uh, that was that was really good to see that one and I also did a few that I didn't show the kind of tying process here in the video this was a coat that I just folded up and uh, this was a jumper that also just got like random folds and uh, yeah it's such a fun thing to open your kind of open your gifts that's what it feels like almost like Christmas or some kind of your birthday when you see what everything is and uh, yeah then you pop these things in the wash uh, wash them as it's directed on the package and you can see all the blue the lovely things hanging here and then it's just uh, about wearing them make them your favorite items and get lots of use out of them thanks for watching and see you next time and I hope you get to dye some things yourselves bye